Hey, what is going on guys? So today we'll be taking a look at the most recent Marvel Legends figures I've picked up here. I believe this is the third wave of the Disney Plus series figures. I do have the full wave here, I'm just going to break it into two parts. So today we'll take a look at the first four figures here, which are the classic Loki, He Who Remains, Zombie Iron Man, and also Red Skull. The next part will be the remaining three figures and the Builder figure himself. Here is a shot of the front of the packaging for all figures, and also a shot of the back of the packaging for all four. As I've mentioned a few times recently in my previous videos, I am playing catch up with a lot of these recent figures that are out between the Black Series and the Marvel Legends, which in this case it has worked out well. I was able to pick up this full wave with each figure being less than half price each. So I'm really glad with that and just in general really glad to finally have this wave of figures. As you can see the back of the packaging like usual has the figure design there and also what's included in the packaging with the accessories and the builder figure pieces. So now we'll go ahead and we'll pull these figures out of the packaging. And here we have all the figures out of the packaging. I just have them all standing in a bit of a neutral pose, how they look initially coming straight out of the box there. I do have all the accessories and builder figure pieces up front. But just taking a quick glance over all these figures, they do look really good standing there. There is some really nice detail over these figures. And like I mentioned, I'm just really glad to finally have this wave. Some nice new sculpted parts for the reused figures. And looking really good on the sculpt work on the full new figures here. All these head scans are looking really good on all figures. And for the accessories, we do get quite a lot with the classic Loki figure. We do get the alternate hands which have the effect pieces sculpted onto them, the effect pieces which wrap around the hands or the arms, whichever you prefer, the alternate head which I really like this one, and also the builder figure Conchu piece, this one is the right leg. It is quite large so that's really good to see knowing that this figure will end up being quite a big builder figure. Moving on to He Who Remains, you do get the Conchu builder figure head and also the apple. I really like the sculpt work on that. That does look quite nice as an accessory. Something different for the display, and that Conchu head looks really nicely detailed. And then moving on to the zombie Iron Man, we've seen these before. The alternate hands, and also the effect pieces. And then the last figure accessories we do have is Red Skull. You do get the Tesseract with this one, which I think this is really cool, because I don't have a Tesseract in the display, so that's really cool to see. And the Builder figure piece being the right arm. Moving on to the figures themselves, starting off with the classic Loki figure. As you can see, there's a lot of nice weathered details done over this figure, running down the torso and also over the cape. Unfortunately, mine does have two little scuff marks, one there on the abdomen and there is another, but I'm not too concerned as you can't really notice these. But just a really great adaptation from, of course, the classic comic look, which again was just really cool to see in the series and really cool to get a figure adaptation of the character. Like I mentioned before, the head scans are done extremely well. I do really like the way these have turned out, and overall really happy with the way this one does stand there. Moving on to He Who Remains, again this one just looking really great in hand. Being quite vibrant with that purple robe, I really think this figure will look great in the display. That robe also, unfortunately, will hinder some articulation, but again, this isn't really a character that'll be displayed in any extremely crazy poses, so I'm not too worried about that there. The head scan on this figure looking terrific. Again, just another one that I think has turned out really well, really capturing that likeness, and just again, some really nice detailed pieces sculpted over the chest and over the figure. The hand device there done really well and looking really good also. Moving on to Zombie Iron Man, we have seen this sculpt before in the body but the paint job is done really well. The reds are really vibrant, so that does look really nice. Really gives a metal look to the figure. There is also some dirt marks which are painted over which do add a little bit to the figure. And of course the new sculpted pieces being the abdomen there which does have the exposed ribs, also the exposed part of the armor on the right forearm, and that head scan looking really good there also. Moving on to Red Skull, this is my first time getting this figure, so I think this one looks really good here. I do really like the head scan on this one also. And there is quite a lot of nice little painted detail pieces over this figure, like on the belt buckles there and a few of the other logo pieces. Again, another one that'll be quite hindered with articulation, but like the previous one, I'm not too worried about that with this figure. So we'll go ahead and I'll put these figures in a bit of a posed up position with all their accessories in hand to give you guys a better look. And here they are all posed up, probably in the positions of how they will be displayed on the shelf. Like I mentioned, I really do like this head scan with the classic Loki, so I think this will be the one I keep on the figure. The Apple accessory is really cool with He Who Remains, just something different added in there. Some really nice detail in that hand device, as I was mentioning earlier. The standard effect pieces we've seen with the Iron Man before, but that does look really good there. And of course, the Red Skull with the Tesseract. First time getting the Tesseract in the 1-6 scale, so I think this is a really cool accessory to include with this figure. 
So I'm really happy with this wave so far. I think all these figures are looking really good. Can't wait to get them all in the display. Like I mentioned, there is a part two coming with the rest of the figures from this wave and also the builder figure. So stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.